video that you will only see on CBS2. Cuffed and heading to court. This is the man police say ran over an NYPD officer with an ATV. CBS2's Tracy Carrasco live in downtown Brooklyn where the suspect is expected to be arraigned tonight. Tracy. That's right, Christine. It took police four days to track down the man they say ran over an NYPD officer with an ATV. That suspect, Kenny Ortiz, is set to be arraigned here at criminal court any moment now, and he faces a lengthy list of serious charges, including attempted murder of a police officer. Kenny Ortiz walked out of the 75th police precinct in Brooklyn on Friday night and avoided our cameras, silent with his head down. Do you have anything to say? The 31-year-old was arrested at his home in Queens on Thursday. Police say on Sunday, two NYPD officers noticed Ortiz driving his yellow Yamaha ATV recklessly, weaving in and out of traffic and driving on the sidewalk at Pitkin and Lincoln Avenues in Brooklyn. They pulled Ortiz over and approached on foot. The NYPD says this surveillance video shows Ortiz speeding away after hitting one of the officers, running over his leg and dragging him 190 feet. The officer suffered a broken nose and vertebrae, cuts and bruises. Police Commissioner Bill Bratton spoke about the officer's serious injuries earlier this week. He's very lucky to be alive, being quite frank with you. That ATV now parked behind the 75th police precinct. Sources tell us Ortiz stripped it of all distinctive yellow markings and hit parts at his girlfriend's Brooklyn home. Ortiz faces a long list of charges. Ortiz is now charged with attempted murder of a police officer, assault with intent to cause serious injury with the weapon, assault of a police officer, attempted aggravated vehicular homicide, vehicular assault, resisting arrest, reckless driving, operating an unregistered motorcycle and driving a motor vehicle on a sidewalk. As for that NYPD officer, he is still listed in stable condition at Jamaica Hospital. We're live tonight from downtown Brooklyn. Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News.